everyone. Good morning. This is Uma coming to you on Thursday, February 15th for your daily twin flame reading. Come on in, guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and showing love. And those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. Come on in. I do a daily twin flame reading and a daily reading every day. And if you click subscribe, you will get a message notification every time I post a video. So there you go. All right, let's see what the stars have in store for us today. Time stampers, please time stamp. 33 seconds in, Divine Masculine. How is he feeling towards his Divine Feminine today? Here we go. We have You Deserve Love. I love this card. We've been pulling this card a lot for Twin Flame Masculine because he has been just doing his work. So with the You Deserve Love card, it's about being lovable, understanding he's lovable and he deserves to feel good and he deserves all the good of a good relationship, right? Now that could be good or bad for you depending on what your relationship is like with him. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for the Divine Masculine today, Thursday, February 15th. We have four of fire, boom, there you go. That's the marriage card. That is how he's feeling. Joy, contentment, peace, right? Happy home life. So for many of the Divine Masculines, they had a great Valentine's Day. And I'm talking about the Divine Masculines that are with their twin flames, are speaking to their twin flames, um, something's going on and they're in a happy place. They are feeling it, okay? And then we have the awakening card. So that's why he has that four of fire card because he's had an awakening. He's looking at things from a different perspective, right? He's understanding this idea of love, of giving love and receiving love. And he's in this beautiful place of reciprocity. And we also have Knight of Earth. There's my Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's about being committed. So for some of you, you made it official yesterday or you're making it official today. Or in his heart, it's official, right? If you have a twin flame like mine, he doesn't really come out right and say, hey, we're together. It's just that, you know, he shows up on Valentine's Day and brings flowers and teddy bears and stuff. So, you know, look more to the actions and less about the words. It's an understanding, right? And when you have Knight of Earth, he is a slow-moving knight, but he brings his offer in very peacefully, very humbly, very quietly, and it's up to you to accept it. So please accept it, because whatever it is that he's offering, it really is coming from the heart, and it's coming from a good place. Okay, so I'm really excited about the Divine Masculine. You guys know I've been raving about them, because they've been doing their work. You know, they've been really trying and dealing with their stuff that they're going through and they've also been dealing with how insecure they can get or how unworthy they feel and then they're still trying to reach out to their divine feminines and show up and be present for her while they're going through their things you know so I'm super excited about that because I think that's what we need more of is people just being humble and vulnerable in this place of love okay let's timestamp divine feminines today um, oh, let's round it up. Three minutes, 33 seconds. What is the advice for divine feminines today concerning their love relationships, their twin flames? Okay, we had three jumper cards, but one fell literally on top of the card for divine masculine. Here we go. Retreat! Back up, okay? And it says it's time to disconnect from the world. Really interesting, because you know I consider myself the divine feminine in my relationship. And I will tell you, I don't have work today. Today's my day off, except for you guys, because like I totally love you and I'm going to come on here and do your reading. But I was kind of like, I want to go back to bed. Is that weird? Is that a faux pas? Can I do it? Am I allowed? But now that I got this card, guess what, honey child? I'm going back to bed because it was a rough night last night. This new moon coming in, mm, not something to play with. All right. We have eight of fire. Yep, too many things going on out there. And that looks like the cosmos to me. That looks like planets and galaxies and comets. Oh my, right? So eight of fire, lots of things going on. And a lot of the things that are going on doesn't have anything to do with you. It was so sad um, to hear about the shooting, the recent shooting, mass shooting at a high school in Florida. And guys, I can't tell you my prayers, my thoughts, my love, my wishes have been going out to the victims 
the people that are hurting, the people that witnessed, everybody that's involved with that, and including us as a whole. So, you know, if you're an empath like me, you feel everything. And I could not sleep last night for nothing. I had a great Valentine's night, but just could not sleep. I had like four hours of sleep. And I understand why, because there's a lot going on out there. There's a lot going on out there. And, you know, Spirit is saying, take your TV off today, boop, right? Stay off of social media, boop and just kind of chill out today. All right, here you go. And that's why you need to stay away and retreat because you are in your happy place. Whether you're in your happy place by yourself, whether you're in a happy place with your loved one or with your twin flame, you are in a good place and you wanna protect. You have to protect your happy, guys. You have to protect your happy, all right? So that's why Spirit is asking you to retreat. And your last card is Knight of Air. Things are gonna start picking up soon for you guys, by the way. New things are coming in for you, and you want to be rested and balanced and ready to take um, to take ownership of whatever it is that's coming into you. All right, so the night of air is always an event that occurs with great speed. All right, now that we got that down, six minutes, six seconds in, twin flames in union. What's the energy like for you guys today? Let's get a card spirit. We got two. We have children and past life relationship. Ooh. So children are affecting your love life and a past life relationship. That, that card for me always says that there's a deepening. There's a deepening of the bond between the twin flames because they're recognizing each other and understanding that there's something more here than just a regular relationship. Um, the children card is actually not, it's not surprising to me because last night I was with my twin flame and... Um, his daughter called and, you know, they had to, he had to leave because he had to deal with something. So it's interesting. But here's the thing. I didn't get upset. I didn't make a big deal about it. And I know a lot of times twin flame feminines, we tend to get like really like this and that. But I'm telling you guys, when you start up leveling and you're doing like your spiritual work, your meditation, your yoga and everything, nothing bothers you anymore. And I was just like, that's perfect. Okay. So we have the strength card, forgiveness, compassion, you know, this comes from releasing harsh judgments and developing that newer understanding. So spirit is calling today for twin flame unions. If there's issues with the children, um, you know, or if children's affecting your life in some way, somehow have compassion, right? Have compassion. And then we have justice. That's that twin flame card. That's um, for some readers, this is like the marriage card. And I feel it. I feel it in my own twin flame union. We are just so on point together. And it's tying back to this past life relationship. There's a deepening happening in twin flame couples. The twin flame couples that are doing their work, that are really following that energy, there is a deepening happening right now. And we get page of fire. There you go. News of an exciting new opportunity. So twin flame couples, you can expect to hear something today concerning your finances, concerning your career, maybe some opportunities for you guys to travel together and do work together. Because remember, that's the whole point of the twin flame union, right? It is to do the spiritual work, to uplift humanity, to uplift the consciousness of the planet. That's why I get so surprised when a lot of people say, oh, you know, I'm in a twin flame relationship. And I say, that's great. I am happy. But at the same time, what are you doing for the planet, right? And if they're not doing anything for the planet, they're just kind of enjoying themselves, then it's probably a soulmate relationship. And that's a great relationship too. We have to get away from these titles and what it means and doesn't mean. Okay, let's timestamp for twin flames that are separated but communicating. We are at eight minutes, 50 seconds. Twin flames separated and communicating. Here we go. Okay, we have two jumper cards, it's two, three jumper cards. Spirit is really speaking today. Okay, wow. Okay, so we have worth waiting for, new love, and true love. So what I feel for twin flames separated and communicating is that there is a changeover of information passing between the two. There is deepening of bonds. And then for some of the twin flames separated and communicating, they are about to or are meeting someone new. So I know that's kind of scary. I, I remember those days. It's like, ooh, who could this be or what is this about? But don't worry. Let's get some more clarifiers on that. We have nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect what you've created. Three of water. Reunions. Happiness. Happy times. 
and six of fire victory. Boom. There it is. So this is what I'm going to say. I feel like there's somebody new around one of the twin flames that are separated and communicating. There's somebody new and they're trying to move in. They're trying to move in. And that's why it's so important for you to protect what you've created. Now, you cannot put demands on this person. You cannot say, okay, we need, putting demands on somebody never works out. Have you noticed that? It never works out. So if you're communicating with your twin flame, be the best friend you can possibly be. Okay? Be the best person that you can possibly be to them. Be a friend. That's what they need right now. If they're not in a relationship with you, they need you to be a friend. Be a friend. Be good to them. Be there for them. Don't give up because your victory is coming. Six of fire and three of water together, that's a reunion. So for some of you, there's a small group of you that are actually getting into a relationship today with your twin flame. And there's some of you that are not because there is somebody else around, but I don't think it's going to work out just by these cards because he is more focused on you. Okay. All right. My last couple, my beautiful couple, twin flame separated and not communicating. We timestamp you at 1111. Wow. 1111 guys. Here we go. What is your reading for you today? Two cards. We have free yourself and passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's time to take control back in your life. So for those of you that are not getting any communication with your twin flame, spirit is being very open and saying, hey, you want to be back in relationship? You have to be lighter. The energy has to be lighter. So if you're sitting there moping, crying, wishing, wanting, regretting, that's not really going to bring somebody back to you. That's not how the law of attraction works. So they want you to be full of passion. What can you do that you're passionate about? Do you like to draw? Do you like to sing? Do you like to dance? Right? Do all those things that make you feel good. Queen of air. There you go. Clear away all that is no longer serving you, all the negative thoughts, beliefs, patterns, behaviors. If you're having trouble with this, come see me for an access bars session if you're in the area. And if you're not in the area, get to somebody who does access bars. Ask them about it. This can really help you be in that objective decision-making mindset. Life experience. You got this card from general. The general reading today had life experience and unity. That's a twin flame card right there. Unity. So what spirit is reminding you is that your twin flame relationship is a twin flame relationship. For some of you, you've been having questions and spirit is saying, no, this is a twin flame relationship. But at the same time, you can't attract it back to you or be in it if you're not of the vibration that's required to be in it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. It makes total sense to me. All right. So here we go. Uh, what is our activation card today, spirit? We got trust. Don't you just love how this all works out just beautifully in our favor? So let's go ahead and activate trust in our lives. Repeat after me. I have a strong connection to my soul's loving voice, and I have faith in my intuition. I have a strong connection to my soul's loving voice, and I have faith in my intuition. There you go. Spirit has spoken. All right, guys, that is your daily reading for today. Thank you so much for supporting me and following my channel. I just started just about a month or two months ago, and I'm just really surprised to see how many subscribers I have. Um, for those of you that don't know me, hi, what's up? My name is Uma. I am the owner of Lotus Wellness Center in Manassas, Virginia. I teach classes in spiritual development. In fact, I have a class this Sunday. So if you're nearby and you want to check it out, it is Spirit Communication 101. It's for all those people that are beginners and want to learn how to increase and grow their psychic development. I do mentor lots of students here in psychic development. And in fact, this class on Sunday is going to be um, work that I do at the Arthur Finlay College. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I go to Arthur Finlay College in the UK every year. And in fact, I'm getting ready to go next week. I will be gone I know, so you guys won't be having your readings every day. I'm so sorry, but the time difference there and, you know, we're in classes from like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., so it's kind of crazy over there. But all the work that I do there, I, you know, I relearn and I process and I try it out and I bring it back and then I reteach it to people here. So you don't have to buy a ticket to go to London <laughs> to learn. You can get it right here. And um, again, reach out to me. I do private readings. 
You know, I'm available for private readings, for private healing sessions. I do this professionally, so I would love to help you guys out. I also just made a video. I did a class on demystifying the soulmate relationship where we talked about twin flames, soulmates, false twins, whatever, and I had my friend record it. And I'm trying to figure out right now how to put it up for sale for you guys because I'm not going to charge you the price that I charged um, people that came and saw me in person because kind of weird and you guys are it's recorded right so you won't be able to get to ask your questions and whatnot but I definitely wanted you to get the information so um, if anybody knows how just let me know and I'll be happy to put it up but in the meantime have a great day enjoy your twin flame relationship with or without them and always guys put yourself first that's what the world needs all right bye for now I'll see you tomorrow